Hi, I'm Alex Raffi, Partner and Creative Director for Imagine Communications here in Henderson, Nevada. The Nevada State Education Association has drafted a tax initiative called Question 3 that will impose a 2% tax on all Nevada businesses that gross more than $1 million a year in total revenues, regardless of whether the business is profitable or not. Now, business growth is incremental. I mean, it's in inches, it's not in miles. It's, this, this tax is going to put a lot of pressure on small businesses that are trying to grow. It's going to put a freeze on hiring. It's going to put a freeze on raises. It's going to put a freeze on incentives and on rewarding people who are doing a great job. It's going to hurt our economy. It's going to hurt our community. But you've already heard all these kinds of things, you know, through uh, listening to business owners or if you heard them on the media or, or read things. Uh, so you already know all that. So let's put all that aside for now. I have a, I have a bigger question for the, the people who propose question three. What's the plan? It's been reported in the Las Vegas Sun this year that Nevada schools are the worst in, na in the nation for giving children a chance for success. Uh, that's not acceptable. As uh, business owners, I mean, we're also parents. I mean, we, we actually see our kids struggle through whatever it is, through the homework, and, and see them in schools. And we want the best for our kids. Who, who doesn't want the best for their kids? You know, I, I empathize with the teachers. I see what they go through, and I do my best to help. And we all work together to try to improve the, the, the situation and, and try to get our kids in a level that we want them to, to get into. But if, if, if my daughter is struggling with homework or with, with a particular grade or she's failing in math, let's just say, I don't raise her allowance. I look at where she's failing. I, I find out where, what areas we can work on. And I take her away from the path she was on, put her on another path, and give her a new plan to follow so that she can head for success. I mean, as a business owner, we went through the same thing with the economic collapse. There was no influx of cash for us. We had to look at our current plan, see where our failures were, learn from those failures, apply them to a new plan, and then head in that direction and succeed. Any business owner that you can talk to that is still around went through that whole process. The old plans weren't working in that situation. We had to shift and create new plans. So basically, that is my question. If we're going to be asked to vote for this thing, and you're asking for more money to be put into the old plan, that doesn't make much sense to me. The plan that put us at the bottom of the list, what, what difference is it going to make if we give you more money for that particular plan? All I think that we deserve, and all I'd like to ask for right now, is for you to explain to us, the, the community, what is the new plan? that we're going to be putting this money into. Because it seems to me that that should have been the first thing that was discussed. First comes the new plan, then the influx. So that's my question to the people of question three. What is the plan?